floss tube number 13. Welcome to August on my channel. I have a lot of fun things to show you today and yeah, let's just get into it. It's been about a month since I did a regular video, so I have quite a bit of fun stuff to show you. Okay, let's jump into my stitching. And I have finishes to show you, and my whole pile of things are falling over. Okay. I have three finishes to show you. So, a couple weeks ago, I decided that I was sick of having, like, very close to done projects in my whip pile. I just... There's no reason for that. <laughs> so, I decided to pull them out, and just get them finished so that I could actually call them a finish. Um, so the first one that I finished was this freebie from the Cardinal Needleworks opening earlier this year. This was designed by Lainey B for Cardinal Needleworks. And all I had left to do was I had to backstitch the wing and I had to add in those colorful warts in its beak. So I finished that up and now it's done. Next up, I have Stay Safe at Home. This is designed by a designer that I do not know how to pronounce, so I will put it on the screen instead. <laughs> um, and this is was a, a be well and stitch freebie and you guys may remember that I ran out of the color that I was using I was using cherry bark by gentle art and so I got some more and was able to finish it um, you may be able to tell the scissors um, the you can see that there's a little bit more of the brighter red in the variegation than there is anywhere else but I'm okay with the scissors looking a little bit different. Um, that's why I left them to the end because it'd be really weird if like the CH looked different, but the scissors looking different is fine with me. So that was fun to finish up. And finally, um, designed by Humble North Hamilton, uh, I believe on Etsy, this is a chart I started during Mania this year. And this is a quote from Buffy. I very much love this. Um, and all I had left to do was the backstitching in the like stems of the flowers and the French knots on the inside of the flowers. And the French knots <laughs> were so frustrating. Um, I did them all and I did fine, but I would do like, so there's you know, the four corners and I would do one corner and then be like, okay, okay, I need a breather. And I would like pace around my living room and I'm like, no, I have to keep going. I can't stop. <laughs> and I do the next corner and then I'd be like, okay, okay, you can do this. <laughs> so there it is all finished. Yep. Very happy with that. I didn't share any of the fabric. Let me do that. Um, let's see. Stay safe at home and stitch. Um, I did that on Nikki's Creation 32 Count Linen Antique Rose. That was with Cherry Bark from Gentle Art. Um, I did Buffy and all the called for colors on a piece of color and cotton 32 Count Belfast in, uh, um, in the colorway Seashell. It's a very soft pink. I like that a lot. That piece was, um, the model was just, I think just like a mock-up. I don't even think they had a stitched model, but it was on a white background and I knew I didn't want to do it on a white background, but it has a lot of colors in it that I would think to use <laughs> for the fabric. So like, it has yellow in it, so I can't really use yellow fabric very easily. It has two colors of purple in it, so purple would be hard. It has green in it, so green would be hard. 
<laughs> and I, it, you know, the letters are pink, so I thought pink would also be difficult. Um, but when I found this color at Cardinal Needleworks, um, who is the Cardinal Needleworks is run by Angela of Color and Cotton. Um, so when I saw this fabric there, I was like, oh, I know exactly what I want to do with this. <laughs> and then this one is also on a piece of Color and Cotton. This is just a um, mystery even weave scrap that I got in like a bundle of mystery even weaves. I want, I'm going to guess it's 28 count, but I don't know for sure. Okay, so those were all of my finishes. Um, three very quick finishes. I did those all in one day. <laughs> it's just like, I'm, I'm getting these out of my whip pile. Okay, starts. So I finally got in my fabric for um, the piece I wanted to do for the diversity and inclusion cell or the representation matters cell. And so Peacock Keeper, Peacock Keeper by Lindy Stitches is what I picked out to do for that. I'll put a picture of what that will look like on the screen now. And I really wanted to do this in the called for fabric because the fabric is just so beautiful. Um, and so I finally started it when I got it. It's a teeny tiny start but I'm happy with it all the same. And that's what it looks like. Just a little bit of the border. But I mean, look at this fabric. It's so pretty. This is 32 count linen from Picture This Plus in the color Jazz. I look forward to getting back to this one for sure. Okay. And my next start is, um, this is by Whistle Stop Stitcher. She has been designing some fantastic free charts Thank you so much. Um, and this one came out uh, around the 4th of July and I have really been struggling with um, patriotic imagery lately. I'm not, I don't usually tend toward that sort of thing in general, um, but I've been really struggling with that lately because I have not been feeling particularly proud of our country right now. Um, and when she came out with this pattern, I was like, this is the one. This is what I have been waiting for. Something that allows me to be proud of what I think this country can be um, without, you know, celebrating what it currently is at the moment, <laughs> um, if that makes any sense. So I am doing this on a piece of color and cotton 16 count Ada um, in the color River Rock. And I'll put a picture of what this will look like complete. This is a quote by Obama. And this is the start I got. I changed the colors a little bit because I didn't have all the colors called for. Um, but I really like what I picked and I really like this fabric a lot. It is, it's got some really nice modeling in it and I will definitely have more to use for something else. But I had a couple of options for this and I let my boyfriend pick and I think he made the right choice. So thank you to him for that. Okay, so those are my two starts for July. Now, let's move on to whips. So I've been saying in the last like three videos <laughs> that I really miss my um, 
peppermint purple black work sal and so i finally got it out to, um in july so i'm doing this on a piece of 32 count dark cobblestone and i'm doing it all in one color um oh this is a lugana um doing it all in one color in dmc 3866 i am extremely extremely behind but i did make some progress Don't want to drop this in my coffee so that's what that looks like and i did i think three blocks definitely want to keep working on that really really enjoying that okay next whip that I worked on. Um, I pulled this out because I got called for a whip go goal, I think for July. Um, and this is Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. I'll put a picture up right now of what that will look like when it's done. And here's what it looks like now. So I made a ton of progress on this. Um, really only like a tiny corner of this was started. Um, I would say I'm maybe about halfway done with the page. Um, the acorn border at the top extends over into the next page here. Um, this motif is enormous. This is not even half of it. Maybe half. It's close to half. Um, but so the bottom of that motif is the bottom of the page. So making good progress there. And I think I've mentioned previously that this piece was not really my favorite, um, but that I'd only worked on it for a little bit and I wasn't really familiar with linen or with variegated threads <laughs> when I started working on this. And so I was looking forward to giving it another shot, and I was right on both counts. I definitely felt more comfortable on it this time around. Um, the fabric is not my favorite. It's um, on the called for picture this plus 28 count doubloon linen. Um, it is not my favorite, and the threads are not my favorite. I'm using the called for Valdani, but I definitely don't think that the fabric or the flosses are going to stop me from working on it anymore. So that's good. Okay, next I pulled out my Pride and Prejudice Sal from um, the Stitching Book Club run by Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. And here's what that looks like now. And so I took out a lot of the border this month. Um, I made a counting error and so I was frogging the border. So I was basically alternating between doing some frogging and then I'd put in a length somewhere else and then I'd do some frogging and then I'd put in another length. And then once I'd taken out everything I needed to take out, then I would, you know, redo a little bit of the border and then put in a length somewhere else. <laughs> redo a bit of the border, put in a length somewhere else. Um, so I've been making a good amount of progress in the inner parts of the pattern and also making a decent amount of progress putting the border back. So feeling good about that. I'm really looking forward to having this done because um, I'm about to start the new one, the Frankenstein one. Um, I want, have been wanting to do the Secret Garden one. Um, they did... Frankenstein will be their fourth. So for they, first they did Pride and Prejudice, then um, Three Musketeers, which I wasn't really interested in. Then Secret Garden, which I was interested in. The pattern is beautiful. But I decided I wasn't going to let myself stitch that until Pride and Prejudice was done. And then Frankenstein is coming out. Um, you're already able to sign up for it and get the border, um, which I haven't done yet because... I'm still waiting for my fabric, um, but 
I will definitely be stitching that. I absolutely love Frankenstein. I'm really looking forward to rereading it along with stitching it, the stitching the piece. Um, and so, yeah, I'm not going to make myself wait for that one. I'm really, really excited for that. Um, but yeah, so if I finish Pride and Prejudice and I finish Frankenstein, then maybe I'll let myself start <laughs> Secret Garden. But I think Christmas Carol is going to be this year too. I don't know if there's one between Frankenstein and Christmas Carol, but Christmas Carol is also a strong favorite of mine. So maybe Secret Garden will come after after. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Um, my next two whips I worked on on Harry Potter's birthday on July 31st. Um, my friend Athena from Stitching with Friends on, on Flosstube, she convinced me to uh, watch a Harry Potter marathon with her. So we started at 7 a.m. <laughs> and watched all the movies back to back to back to back all the way until like 2 a.m. Um, I'd never done a marathon all in one day before, ever. Well, I mean, we went to the next day, but you know, I'd never done it all back to back, you know, without stopping. Um, I'd done it in two, like over a weekend, two days before, um, but I'd never done it all in one day. And when she said she was gonna do it, I was like, you're insane. Cause when I did it over two days, it was, it was difficult. It was a lot. Um, but she was like, nope, I'm doing it. I do it every year and I'm so excited. And I was like, okay. So I still had to work. It was a Friday. Um, so I had it on, you know, while I was working, when I was doing solo work and able to have it on. And I had it on on mute when I was in meetings and things like that. Um, and so I... I had it on through my whole work day and then uh, once work was over then I brought my stitching out and started stitching during the movies and chatting with her the whole time which was super fun um, and so I worked on two different projects um, I did a little bit of lunchtime stitching that day too and so I wanted to work on a smaller piece that'd be easier to pick up and put down um, so I brought out my Hogwarts Express. Um, I don't think I'd worked on this at all yet this year. And so it was really nice to get this out again. Um, the train is almost complete. I still have, I don't know if you can tell, there's like some dark purple in with the black. I still have some of that dark purple left here in the, the front of the train. And then I've got a couple more of these gray swishes. So I gotta finish the border down here. And then it's gonna say, Hogwarts Express, and then nine and three quarters. So, this was super great. Oh, I think the purple, like, even extends whoop, down through, down through here. Um, so a little bit left, but not, not too bad. That could come out one or two more times and have a finish. Um, this is on my whip whip board to finish it. And then finally, I brought out my big one, but I couldn't have a Harry Potter day and not stitch on this one. I considered, like, working through Hogwarts Express to a finish, but I really wanted to pull this one out too. So this is... I'm sorry, I didn't say the Hogwarts Express is designed by, God. Hogwarts Express is designed by Smet, S-M-E-T, I got that off of Etsy, um, and that's just on like a 16 or an 18 count white data, um, and then we have my Harry Potter covers collage. This is designed by Fox and Teacup. And this is an 18 count Ada. Uh, this is on my Whipco board a bunch of times. Um, 
I believe I've got two open goals for it right now. So there's, I'm getting close to one of them. It's like right here is the page finish. Um, and then I've got another half page goal as well. So yeah, really liking how that's looking. This one is fun every time I pull it out. You know, sometimes pulling out your big projects, especially full coverage, can can take a little bit of a motivation boost <laughs> to pull it out. But every time I do, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this piece. Okay, so that was everything that I stitched on in July. Next, let's talk about haul. And my last video was just like crazy with haul. Um, this video is maybe not quite as much, but I've still got a bunch. Um, some of it residual orders that are still coming in from all of the ordering I did in June. Um, some of them are new orders. Um, but I only have two charts to show you. Well, that's not true. I downloaded some freebies as well. Uh, let's start with those. <laughs> um, so during the Frogwarts retreat, chatting with some people, um, somebody showed what they were stitching and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. Where did you get it? And she goes, not only am I going to enable you, <laughs> but these are free. <laughs> so it's just like, what? Uh, so Sunflower Diaries is the designer, I believe, um, and they've done a very, very fantastic um, monthly series. I always feel like monthly series, like the February is always Valentine's Day and the March is always St. Patrick's Day and, you know, it feels very repetitive and also not really me. I don't really care about those holidays. Um, and this one was unexpected. It wasn't the sort of things you usually see on months in a, in a monthly design. And so immediately I knew I had to have them. So I downloaded them all. Let me show you what they look like here. I also grabbed a couple of other ones uh, from the Sunflower Diaries website blog. Um, they also have an Etsy shop, and I favorited some of those, but I haven't bought any yet. Next, now we'll go into things that I actually purchased. So I got this chart from My Big Toe, and this is a contender for um, a friend who's getting married. I'm looking for something to stitch for them, and I have a couple of choices now. But I love this one so much, I knew that... Even if I don't stitch it for them, I'll stitch it for somebody. Next, I ordered this ages ago, but it finally came in. Um, this is Natural Beauty 3 by Philanthrope Broideries. This is a French company. And I had a little bit of difficulty ordering this. What I ended up having to do is going to the they have an English version of the site um, but the like checkout didn't work so I went to the French version and just used like the translate on my browser and I was able to navigate the site that way and check out through the French site and that worked just fine um, I ended up getting the kit for a couple of reasons um, first because they use Aurafil floss which I've never used before. I believe that's a French floss. Um, and so I know um, Michelle Bendy is the one who, you know, brought this chart to my attention. Um, she also has it and she just has the PDF and she is planning to use a conversion. Um, check out her channel for the person who did the conversion um, to DMC. I don't remember who it was. But so I totally could have done a conversion, but it's a neat opportunity to try out a different floss. Um, but then also the fabric, I don't know if you can see the in the picture, there's like a texturing um, in the background. And that's actually because the fabric is painted or printed. I'm not sure. 
Um, but it's beautiful. And I really want, I think it's, I think it's printed. I'm not sure. Um, but I, I thought the effect was so cool. So I don't know if you can see. There's a picture here of the full design. And so you can see in the background that the texturing of the fabric really like adds something extra to it. So I ended up ordering the kit. Um, it was a little pricey and I had to wait for it to come from France, <laughs> but totally worth it in my opinion. I think she's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I fell in love with her hair in particular. Um, I know I've talked about um, natural hair on my videos before and how much I love and appreciate it. Um, and I've, I've seen charts of black women before, but I've never seen charts that really show in detail natural hair. And so I just immediately had to pick this up. I love it so much. And then, oh, with that order, I also got a little free black work chart. Um, it's of a gink ginkgo? Is that how you say that? Ginkgo? Um, it's a type of tree, I believe. So thank you for that. I also picked up two um, flosses. I think these are both silk. We've got Krynik Silk Mori and we've got, what's this other one? I've got Krynik Silk Mori in 7174 and then I've got Thread Gatherer Silken Colors in Straw Into Gold and these are both for my um, Jeanette Douglas pineapples. Let me show you all what that looks like. That's this one right here. So I'm gonna use the DMC for the other colors, but I wanted to get the silk called for for the two yellows because that's like the prominent color on the pattern and i've never used silk before so i figured getting you know only needing two was a good opportunity to try so i have now um the both the silk and the fabric for that so i can start that anytime Next, my nest egg came in. I get Gentle Art. I think this is, sorry, too many things. I think this is two months worth. So I got Gold Leaf, Glass Slipper, Freedom, Ginger Snap, Fragrant Cloves, Geranium, Garden Gate, Flax, Grape Arbor, is that right? Yep. And Forest Glade. These are beautiful. I think maybe my favorite is this Geranium is really pretty. Not quite as bright as it's showing here. Um, I also really love Freedom. This is beautiful. Matches my, you know, <laughs> matches my current clothing aesthetic. Oh man. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, that was two months worth. And that's because, um, Gentle Art is backed up, so. Next, we have some fabric. So I went on <laughs> a 
40 count binge just because I've really been really liking stitching on 40 count on my Raven's Reply and so I got some different kinds of 40 count to try. It's different colors to different makers just to see what I like. So I got some 40 count mallow linen, obviously linen. <laughs> um, then I got 40 count light mocha. I got 40 count birch. So these are all neutrals. These are different neutrals. And then I got Ren. Let's see. I think. Let's see. Birch and Light Mocha are both Zweigarts. This is. This one's Light Mocha and this one's Birch. And then Mallow. I don't know. It's maybe a Witchelt. That's mallow. It's a bit grayer. And then Ren is a picture this plus. They're hard to show all together. Let me see if I can do it. There we go. So just some different neutrals. And then I got a 40 count misty rain. This one, it says, it says lake on the sticker. Is this Lakeside Linens? Maybe. I have to check my receipt. I don't remember. If it is, I'm excited to try it because everyone raves about Lakeside. I got these all from 123Stitch. Then also from 123Stitch, I ordered these ages ago, by the way, and they didn't come and didn't come and didn't come. And then finally they came all without this one, which is the only one that I ordered with a purpose. <laughs> and then this one came like a month and a half after I ordered it. This is 28 count Ren linen from Picture This Plus. It's the same color as this 40 count piece. Although they look a little different, don't they? Um, this 28 count is for um, a piece out of Just Cross Stitch magazine, and I will show it here. So that is in my to start, hopefully kind of soon, pile. <laughs> okay, so then I went on the hunt for fabric for the Frankenstein Sal that I talked about earlier, and I ordered both of these from Fire Poppies, and I don't like either of them for the purpose of the Frankenstein sow, but I think they're nice anyway. So this one is Forest Floor in 32 count linen by Seraphim. And the picture online was much greener than this. So, I mean, I know, you know, that can happen with pictures online. I'm not blaming fire poppies. I just, when I got it, it was not what I was expecting. Um, this one is also really different than the one I was expecting. This is Hell, H-E-L, um, in 32 count linen by Seraphim. And this just looks like a, like a denim -y blue. Um, but it looked like much more pur like purple and green online. Um, so yeah, neither of those are really what I was expecting. Um. I'm sure they will get used for something else. I got some needle minders um, from Flying Frog Stitchery on Etsy. Also, um, she's Laura from uh, from Stitching with Friends. She makes needle minders. And so I picked up a couple. I got this red fox. What did I say? Red fox? No, red panda. Goodness gracious. I got this red panda. And Laura's needle minders have these awesome clay flowers on the back that your needle rests really nicely into. So I'm really excited about that. And I also grabbed this bear 
and she threw in the panda for free. So thank you, Laura. I very much appreciate it. Absolutely love those. Then from, um, from Gina's Unique Noodle Minders, um, I got their stuff together. I got this butterfly. She threw in these scissors. Um, and the butterfly is going to go on my, my butterfly piece. And then I got a peacock feather. And that's going to go on my peacock keeper. So I really like those. So that was it for needle minders. All my piles are falling over. No. Okay. Um, I got a few pins, uh, straight pins that also came from, I think they came from Gina's, um, if not, I'll put it on the screen. Um, and I really, really like these. So I already had the cushion. But um, so I got two peppermints, which I think I only ordered one because that was all they had. Um, but she threw in the second one, which I very much appreciate. And then I got sheep because they're counting pins and, you know, counting sheep. <laughs> I can't get over how cute these are. These are. I've never had counting pins before, um, but I really love these. The sheep look like they're handmade. I'm not sure about the the peppermints, but those are gorgeous, and I can't wait to use them. All right, now I got some bags. First, I ordered from Judy, and. You've heard me talk about her bags before. I absolutely love them. I got potions. This has like a little bit of like a sheen to it. So it's very, very sparkly, but no sparkles coming off onto my things, which is very nice. A beautiful gold button and some gold swirls for the inside. And I got more red pandas <laughs> with a nice, like, pearly button and a, like, pinky red design on the inside. The thing I love about Judy's bags, I love many things about Judy's bags. The buttons are so fun and unique, um, but I also love that you can see the inside fabric a little bit on the edge here. I think that's a nice touch. And then I got a big one of hers. Um, this one's my favorite. It has dogs on it. And the button, the button is a poodle. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, one of my favorite dogs on the planet, who is not my dog, um, is a standard poodle, a white one. And so when I saw that, I just died. Judy also has a poodle, but I believe she has a black one. And then the inside fabric is the black and white paws, which incidentally match a grime guard that I have, which is nice. And again, you can see the inside fabric here on the side, which is just, I love this bag so much. <laughs> then I ordered from Love You More. Um, these were two different orders, but you know, that's how things go. Got a little thread sticking out here. Let me trim that off. Okay. So I got hot air balloons and ships. I got octopuses. I really love the colors on this one. So this is, this is the, the, full size and this is the standard size. Then I got, oh, I didn't show the inside. Again, everything falling over. The octopus one on the inside are whale tails. 
and the hot air balloons are salmon anchors. Then we've got this one. I think this was Katie's birthday sleeve. Sunflowers and bees. On the inside we've got more bees. Then we've got dinosaurs. And that's just like a nice gray on the inside. These are all the smaller size. And then we've got Quidditch with more Quidditch on the inside. I love the red color on the inside. The, this is so nice. Okay, that's all of my stitchy haul. Um, I got a new book that I wanna share with you guys because it was written by a friend of mine and I absolutely love having books written by friends. It's a book of poetry by my friend Madison Ford and it's called Love Letters to an Architect. And I'll put a link down below for how to buy it. And it's just, it's so much fun for me to own books written by my friends because one, I really like supporting them, and two, I just love seeing them on my shelf and, you know, being happy. Um, let me see if I can find one to read. Okay. This one is called Better Burrows. Beasts migrate house to house. Peacocks, parakeets, owls, laughing at the hummingbird nested in an apple tree. Love it. Okay, now I have some pins to show you because I somehow always have pins to show you. Um, many of these are pins that I ordered a long, long time ago. Most of my pins I like get from a Kickstarter or a pre-order and then they come months later. <laughs> but somehow I always have a lot to show you. Um, so this one is from... Amanda um, Amanda Nelson Design Co. Um, and I will link this shop below. 100% um, of pre-order profits were donated to... I don't know what... They, I don't know what organization they were donated to, but this is a Black Lives Matter pin. And again, with the natural hair that I love supporting. And... Um, it's got some fun stuff written in the hair too. So, love that one. Next, I don't remember ordering this one, but I like it all the same. Um, this is from BXE Buttons. And it is a DeLorean with the dog from Back to the Future inside the door. It opens. <laughs> um, next I got from, this is a collaboration between Not Cool and Ursa Major Supply. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. My boyfriend and I love to quote that. Look at that. Samwise Gamgee. Got some potatoes. Then, as I told you, I had a pin to show you from Muggleborn Sisters. Um, this one is a Weasley's Wizard Wheezes sort of combo. There. Then we've got this came from a Kickstarter from um, Magical Misfits. And this is Ice Mice. Hear teeth chatter and squeak. So cute. <laughs> Next, I got from Madame Mimbalis. I got a frog choir pin. Very cute. From Rebel Flare. This one says Hagrid's Creature Club. It's 
got a little hatching dragon coming out there. And the, the it's a little hard to see, but the dragon egg is glittery, which is fun. So cute. And then from a Mad Unicorn, I got my Patreon monthly pin. And this is Lily. So you got Lily's wand and her Patronus. You got some lilies and a goldfish, which is my favorite movieism, probably. I, I love it. There are times when I do not mind when the movies change things, and that is one of them. Next, from Fandom Flare, I got, um, they were running a uh, sale to support some unexpected expenses they had. Um, so I got Qu Clean Sweep 11. And I got Hagrid's Umbrella and Lantern. And then I got a strawberry that says shiny. That's a Firefly reference. Gotta love Kaylee. Then from Hear Meow, I've never ordered from them before, but they had a bunch of fun stuff from musicals. So this one says The Connor Project, and underneath it says You Will Be Found. This is from Dear Evan Hansen. And it's got an apple tree, because he claims that he falls out of an apple tree. Um, well, falls out of a tree. I don't know if it's an apple tree. Then I got two Hamilton ones. This one has some splooge on it. Um, this says, dying is easy, living is harder. And this one says, he aims his pistol at the sky. Wait. I really, really love this one. This is my favorite. Okay, from Swish and Flick, which you all must know by now is one of my favorites. We have a screaming yo-yo. Um, I have some others from this um, series. This was a Weasley's Wizard Weezes series, but I did not have this one. Then we've got a Niffler wearing a Hufflepuff scarf in a potted plant. So that's adorable. And then I missed out on these the first time, but then I was able to snatch them up now. So this one says Hogshead Brew with the Hogshead um, handle. And then we've got Butterbeer, the three broomsticks handle. Those are super cute. And then finally, I got in a Kickstarter that I've been waiting on. Um, this one is a leg of chicken or turkey, and it says, Will you stop eating? Then I have a Hogwarts coming out of a book, and it says, Home. Um, I also, they threw in a sticker that matches. It's like kind of holographic, which is nice. <laughs> then I've got quite the large book that says light reading. So that's fun. And then I have a chocolate frog that says that's rotten luck. So those are all my pins that I have to show you this month. And with that, I think that's everything. Let's real quick talk about plans. So if you have been following my Instagram, you'll know that I am participating in Arbitrary August. I didn't show uh, any of those projects yet because I'll, I'll show them all at once in one video. But um, in Ar Arbitrary August, I'm gonna pull out every single whip that I have currently going and work on those each for one day except for the projects that I have um, that are open whip go goals and those will get two days. Um, so I had like just the perfect number of whips to be able to do that. So that's really fun. I'm already having a blast. It'll be really great for me to touch every single one of my whips. When I did my mid-year video, 
I really enjoyed just pulling them all out and looking at them and being reminded that I love them all. And now getting to stitch on each one of them, I'm reminded again how much I really enjoy each of these projects. So I'm hoping that will reinvigorate me to, to continue to work on some of these whips. Um, also, the um, whip go polls for August happened. Um, and the two projects that got pulled for that were butterflies, which I already had a goal open for that. So now I've got two. Um, and uh, barn owl. And so that that's the one that actually got pulled today for arbitrary August. So that'll be coming out today and tomorrow. And then um, butterflies will come when it's <laughs> when it's fun. Um, so I have some bingo opportunities on my board now. So I just have to finish some goals and then I'll be able to send out to some finishers. With that in mind, um, please post in the comments below finishers that you have used and um, what you had them do. Like if you had them do a pillow or a drum or a frame or something. Um, and if you're if you feel comfortable telling me um, also how much you paid for that um, and if you send it in the mail or if you if they're local to you um, because I'm trying to narrow down um, you know all the finishers that I've heard about and figure out you know what finishers would be good for different things and um, figure out how much to anticipate that it's gonna cost me um, and you know navigate how to how to mail my piece to them um, because I don't have any finishers local to me. So if you've if you've done that before, <laughs> help me out in the comments below and give me any information that you have. All right, I think that's all I've got today. So thank you everybody. And I hope you have some fun stitchy time ahead of you. You know, just get a little bit of time to relax, maybe out in the nice weather and enjoy some stitching. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you.